This video is protected by fair use. It's not for profit, and it's for the purposes of criticism, commentary, and education. Okay, let's go here. One of my subscribers sent me a link to this channel, and I checked it out, and I mean, it just looks like, it looks so cheesy. She looks like she's playing a character, playing a role. That's what it looks like, dress up in a costume cheesy costume that's what it looks like to me the heart-shaped hand she's making a heart with her hands her fingers if you see so let's see what we have here um do i expect there to be some truth mixed in yes i do there always is it wouldn't work otherwise if it was 100 percent false 100 percent lies 100 percent bullshit or deceptions of course they mix in some truth. Of course they do. And, um, actually, one second. I'm going to move some pillows behind here because let me know how the sound is. I'm noticing where I'm at now, where I'm located, there's kind of like an echo. Jump ahead here just a bit, see if we get to her saying something that actually fucking means anything. Objects, right? The unidentified flying objects that got shut down. Um, there was three other ones, okay, in this past weekend. There was two over the Alaska-Canadian border, and there was one, and those were considered uh, cylinder-type objects. And then there was one recently, last night, over at Lake Huron, Michigan which was more of an octagonal object shape. So what's going on, right? Like, why are they trying to start this drama, okay? Because obviously it's no coincidence that the first spy balloon was from China and now all of a sudden three more UFO things get shot down in the same week. So obviously they're trying to put all of our attention towards China and what China, right, is trying to instigate against the US, okay? And we're gonna go into why this is happening. Why are they trying to play us, you know, against one another with the polarities um, with our nations and whatnot, and how this also pertains. Just gonna jump in right here. There are no nations. So right off the bat, I can tell you, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She's looking at the news and she doesn't know how to interpret it because she doesn't have the knowledge of the new world order, the one world system. That just obliterates everything that she's about to say for 42 minutes. Okay, I'm going to try to make this quick. Let's jump into things and take a look at a different video. This one here. All right. Hello, everyone. This is Justice Bellucci, and I am here with my amazing star sister, Ireland Clark. Oh, Hello. star sister. Thanks for joining me. I'm super excited. Ireland is living. Gotta pause it for a second. It's eleven eleven. I just noticed. I see that all the time. What's that? <laughs> Literally, like my star sister, my guardian Blu-ray light warrior. So. Oh, there's that light warrior term again. I just made another video, by the way tonight on <laughs> on a light warrior a guy that kept saying light warrior you'll see what i mean i don't know which video is going to be uploaded first it could be this one or it could be that one i'm not sure what order i'm going to upload them but light warrior oh fuck that this new age nonsense this new age jargon and word salad shit is just so stupid ascension indigos Fallen Angel, it's all the same. They all talk about this shit. Oh, it's so mind-blowing. It's just, oh, it's so mind-blowing. Star Sisters and Star Brothers. Star Seeds. Indigos. Oh, I met her 
synchronistically a couple months back over here in Mount Shasta. And uh, it was a beautiful thing because, you know, I thought I was alone here on Earth, but I see we have all the all the guardians were, have returned. <laughs> so, yeah. so thank you for, for volunteering to come down. So you're not alone on Earth, but your place looks pretty fucking sparse, pretty empty. Do you just have a desk and a seat? I mean, dude, what the hell? That's weird. It's kind of weird. Gonna rewind that for a bit. I just want to hear that stupidity. I don't know why, but I want to hear that stupidity again from from this dude. So, yeah. so thank you for for volunteering to come down here with me, Ireland. I appreciate it. <laughs> to come down on the come down. What? What? You hear that again? Sorry. come down on the prison planet, right? To change right. it. Yes, thanks for having me on. I love connecting with you and, you know, bouncing things off, you know, we're on that. Well, that makes no sense though. That makes you a fucking idiot if you volunteered to come down on the prison planet because you're not going to change this place. It's designed to be this way. No matter what you do, life eat, eats life here. That's the design. So if you can't change that and you can't change the earthquakes and the hurricanes and the tornadoes and you can't change 10,000 diseases and birth defects and disabilities what the fuck are you here for like why would you you're just basically boosting your own ego saying you know this is a hell realm uh but hey we we volunteered we chose to come here makes you look stupid if you actually did that you're a fucking idiot basically you know and you should learn while you're here Please don't be hurt. Whoever hears this that believes that they volunteered to come here, please don't be hurt. Don't be hurt by what I said. I am harsh sometimes. But I do care. So take that as a kick in the ass to say, you know what, the sanity machine might be right. I got to get the hell out of here this time. If I did volunteer to come down here, never again. I'm getting out of here. I made a mistake. You know, going to own up to it and just get the hell out of here this time. Please do that and high five me once we're outside of the matrix. You know, and if you're not an asshole and you're cute, you can give me a hug and give me a kiss on the cheek or something too. I don't mind that, but at least give me a high five or something and say, thanks for kicking my ass back down there and pushing me to get the hell out of here and own up to it that I might have volunteered to go down there, but you can't fix that fucking place. Because it's really not broken. You're trying to fix something that isn't broken. You're trying to, quote, fix the bicycle into being the 747 jet. It doesn't have jet engines. You can't fix it into being what it isn't. You can't fix this earth realm into being a paradise when it's a cesspool. It's fucking designed to be evil and to create suffering. So you're delusional. That headband's not going to fix this place, lady. I'm sorry, whatever her name is, I forgot already, but I'm sorry, but it's not going to fix this place. No matter how new agey you dress up or if you could, you could put on the old hippie clothes of what they wore at Woodstock or something. You could pretend to be Janis Joplin or whoever and of uh, Jefferson Airplane. And it's not going to work. It's not going to work. That's the problem. You're just playing. You're playing dress up. You're literally playing dress up, not just with what she's wearing. Um, pe people get the wrong idea. They'll think, you're just critiquing her for her style. She's playing a role. It's, it's about more than this. It's about the whole thing. She's playing a character. She's playing a role. She's playing a role. You can't fix this realm. You can't save this realm. So you're delusional if you think, oh, I'm a light warrior. I came down to earth. I volunteered to fix this place. It's playing a role. It's being delusional. It's not going to work. I'm shaking my head because it's not going to work. A similar frequency wave. And it, it really helps. It helps me not feel crazy, too. <laughs> I know, right? Crazy mission we signed up for. That's for sure, right? Yeah. So where'd they get that? The crazy mission we've signed up for. We volunteered. We're light workers. We're light warriors. We're this, we're that. 
it's all straight out of Dolores fucking canon and and from him or for her from uh Dolores canon was also from Bob Monroe and all that fuck all those old shills you know it pushed programming and they still have defenders even after they're gone yes um so i have a bunch of stuff i i want to cover today mostly just to expand people's minds um and like we were just chatting earlier about you know a lot of humans think um, they have a limited perception because of the mind control, because of the manipulation and the darkness that's been perpetrated here on planet Earth. I don't get this, dude. I mean, that door looks like it's an apartment door with a peephole and a deadbolt and stuff. And this is walking into his apartment. I don't know. This is just weird. It's like he has an empty apartment or something. It's just, it's strange. And I mean, do I have to say that she's strange? Hopefully not. For thousands upon thousands of years, right? But like every every uh, night turns to day, all the cycles eventually come back into the light and realign, and that's where we are. We're in the middle of the beautiful ascension cycle. Um, so we'll start it off on, I mean, we're going to keep it positive all day today, but we are going to focus on the dark because in order to ascend, you have to know the dark as much as you know the light. And that's what the uh, a lot of the fake spiritual people out there try to avoid the spiritual bypassing. So you don't you don't get to the light by not acknowledging the dark and becoming aware of the dark. You know, oh, I bet they're really good to go into the dark. They talk about fake spiritual people. But you guys are legit. You volunteered to come here. <laughs> Oh man, I'm just gonna, I'm almost gonna lose my mind eventually if I keep covering this fake shit because it's just like, what the hell can I say to this stuff? What can I say to this stuff? Oh God. So that's the most important thing we're gonna touch on today is, is exposing the darkness to empower people and make them aware. I follow and resonate with Lisa Renee and Ashiana Dean's work. Uh, I know you, Ireland, um, you resonate with a lot of Ashiana Dean's work, right? You know, that's why I hate when people say resonate on my channel, because I hear it so much. I've heard it for years and years with these people in the fake-ass New Age, quote, spirituality community. Please don't tell me you resonate with me or don't resonate with me. I'm tired of hearing that resonate stuff and just, oh, fuck, man, I've, I'm tired of all the fucking guru talk. I really am. I'm just tired of it. Yeah. Um, and it's all the same guardian material um, from the Christos founder races, right? Yes, yes. The CDT plates, the Cloister Duratura plates, they're like big holographic discs that hold all the history um all of the race origins all the information uh that we need <laughs> to really ascend our consciousness um it's back on the planet now for this uh new cycle exactly yeah it was this totally wrong there's not going to be an ascension as for those plates or whatever you're talking about just like people talk about the library the hall of light and the akashic records all of that shit should be destroyed you people venerate it as though it's sacred and holy. It should be destroyed. Just like the pyramids, including the Great Pyramid, should be fucking wrecked. Wrecked. So some people are going to say, man, he's a madman wanting to destroy all this stuff. That's what needs to be done. That's what needs to be done here. I'm saying the opposite of all these fucking herd animals or herd creatures that are, that are following along and playing follow the leader. So when you hear somebody saying something, really different the opposite of everyone everyone else that you've ever heard if you're an intelligent person your ears should perk up and i mean perk up like you had uh not a double express espresso but just like the strongest fucking espresso you've ever even imagined your ears should just perk up like holy shit he's saying some some stuff that i never heard anybody say about destroying things that everyone else is hyping up as holy in this fucked up realm can you get that you're in a fucked up place? Can you at least get that far? 
and then realize, wait, he's making some sense. If it's fucked up, yes, it should be destroyed, that stuff. No? There was a black cube in the center of the flat earth, like right at the, quote, North Pole or whatever, Mount Miru, uh, if, if it exists. It does, it's just a theory. But if that existed and that was there, then that should be, like, destroy whatever is fucking creating this and keeping this going. Whatever it is. I don't care if it's a black cube. I don't care if it's a, a magnetic mountain. Okay? I don't care if it's the Great Pyramid. I don't give a fuck what it is. It should be, it, it should be destroyed. It sh the opposite should be done with it than what these people want to do. Because whatever they want to do is to keep it going this way. And I think the opposite should be done. That's where my mind is at. And people that think they're going to come here and fix this place, this place should be condemned. Have you ever seen a building, a rotting house that should be condemned? Where they boarded up the windows and even the plywood is so old now. It was boarded up so many years ago. The elements have worn it out and, the, and it's dry rot and it's just the whole fucking place is falling down. It should be bulldozed. It's a hazard. It's a health hazard. It's not only an eyesore, it's a health hazard to anyone that lives by. Rats could be living in there. You know, bats, um, rabid animals, cockroaches, you name it. It's just disgusting. That's this realm. That's this matrix. You can't fix it. it. should be condemned. That's what I plan on doing. The opposite of all these people in, in this, quote, community of theirs. The opposite. That's what I'm going to do. Okay? And I'm going to do it even if, all the, if, if a million of them try to hold me back and stop me. I'm still going to do it. Because I know they're wrong. I know this fucking cesspool can't be fixed. This isn't ascending. They've been completely brainwashed. And they're, get, they're headed for the recycling bin. Okay? You're not going to be ascending anywhere to 5D or anything else. Any of this bullshit. It's all hopium and wishful thinking. And yeah, I am letting loose on them. And some would say, oh, well, they seem so nice. Well, so do a lot of people in cults that are under mind control. Because they're not aware of what they're in. These people don't know where the fuck they are. They don't know what runs this place. stuff that I was downloading and, and activating within myself and then I was guided to it and it was a, yeah. just a confirmation oh, of what I was God. already getting. What a fucking word salad. The stuff he was downloading and activated and confirmations and entities. Like, I mean, you've had entities fucking feeding shit directly into your mind. You know, as though your mind is just a hard drive and they're putting whatever they want on it. Don't get it, dude. You look mind-controlled, and so does she. She looks completely mind-controlled. You know? How mind-controlled does she look, okay? If I was single, and I was younger, and let's say I was five years older than whatever her age is, let's say she's, let's say she's 30. She's probably in her 20s, but let's say she's 30. And let's say I was 35. Would I sleep with her? I don't think so. I couldn't sleep with someone that's mind controlled. It's just creepy to me. It's freaky. It's and not in a good way. And not in a good way of freaky. You know, getting to be freaky or being a freak. It's just she's so mind. It, it's creepy to me. She's so mind controlled. She has that mind controlled stare and smile. And some of you won't even. I, I, it's sad, but some on my channel will watch this goddamn video and not be able to see this, even though I'm highlighting it. And I don't know what's wrong with you people. Not everyone, but the ones who can't see this, you've got some spiritual issues then. You really do. I'm not saying this is, a put, this is so obvious. This is so obvious. And it's just incredible to me that people can't see this when it's pointed out to them and mentioned and shown. You should be able to do it on your own. I shouldn't have even had to say anything. Should have just been playing the video and you could have been like, yeah, she's under mind control. You should be able to do that on your own. But man, I, I know it's going to be true. There's going to be people, people saying she's just happy. She's, just, she's not angry and she's not mind controlled. That's mind control. That's a fucking, looks like a trance. She just stays like that. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I know she's paused right now, but she's been like that. I mean, 
Do you get what I'm saying? She's under mind control, man. It's not good. So right. that's how it works, you know. So our higher selves. Look at that. Us, you know, just look I'm, at I'm that. Grateful, you know, for for both of them, um, to to bring forth that that material for us, and and it's like the Christos mission where. You know, we don't just complete the mission in one cycle. It's like, you know, it's like it's like we pass the baton, right? You know, they 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 did their work here. So he's justifying being enslaved in here and recycled and reincarnated. And you don't get the job done in one lifetime or one incarnation. If you can believe it, he's trying to justify that. It's just fucking incredible, man. It's incredible that people will try to justify being tortured and enslaved here. And treated this way in a realm of suffering. Do you know that it pains my heart anytime I think of my own subscribers that are in chronic pain and suffering with chronic pain and suffering with Lyme disease that some of them have mentioned to me in comments, like not even like just in comments to, on my on my channel. I don't even know them really personally. Like when it comes to we haven't talked on the phone, I haven't gotten you know that intimate or close. That's what I mean. Like. I haven't heard their voice and I feel for them. Heart aches that people that are on my channel watching this are suffering in this fucking realm. And it really gets to me when people try to justify all of this shit. And so, I mean, it's just, I don't even know what to say sometimes. I, I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to get too emotional about this, but it, it is it is hard having that knowledge that there are, there are people watching my videos, listening to my voice, and they're suffering every day. Obviously, I wish I could help them. It touches it touches me, and it does get to me. And I know they're not telling me to hurt me or to put more weight or burden or whatever on me, because they know that I already have a lot. Um, just a lot on my mind, a lot on my heart, a lot um, weighing down my mind, heart, spirit, soul, whatever. It's just, and it, it's it's not that I don't care. I definitely do care. I wish I could help all of them, and I wish I could alleviate their pain, or heal them, or help them whatever way that I could, because they deserve better. And it's a sickening place. And uh, people have been through abuse. They've been through all kinds of all kinds of things before they ever arrived at this point in life or on my channel listening to my videos. I know they've been through a lot before they got to this point. Fuck, man, you're this guy on the screen is what I'm talking about. Um, he's trying to justify all this shit, and she's just look at that, just. I don't know how much more I can... It, it's almost physically making me ill to watch this and hear it. And I, I've heard this kind of stuff before, but every time... It, it's worse now. Once you really know what this place is and you, you see it and then you hear this, the, the, I've never was involved in the New Age and I never tried to justify abuse and torture and, oh, it's all just learning. I never was that like that. But it just, it's sickening. And I'm not saying that these two are evil. This girl or this woman, sorry, she's probably, I don't know what her age is, but she looks very young to me compared to my age. All right. I'm like 500 and, you know, 5,000 years old. So I'm pretty old. I'm one of those old Vikings that has a gray beard. You know, I'm not. So uh, <laughs> some people take me so literally I can say that and they'll believe it. So I'm joking a little bit. I'm exaggerating a little bit. I'm using a little little bit of uh, hyperbole there for for the sake of com for for comedy for the for comedic effect. I'm sorry. I just I shouldn't have to explain this stuff, but there's always a few. Anyway, um, I, I don't know how much I can go on with this video because it is. Uh, if I don't if I don't do that, I mean, it's just this guy's really bothering me. 
hearing the shit he's pushing. And uh, she's just like a, a deer in the headlights or a doe-eyed girl that just looks so brainwashed and in a trance and just so impressionable. And I don't, that's the way I read it. So you could say, oh, you just feel sorry for her because she's a girl or, you know, maybe I do have a tendency to be less harsh with with women than I do with, with guys, but it's the way it is, it's the way I am, so deal with it. They pass the baton to the to the next generation coming, and now we're doing that, we're passing the baton to the next generation, and then, you know, before you know it, here we are, the golden age, right? <laughs> so, um, for, for like people who are trying to just, you know, grasp this information about Ascension Cycle, and I know they um, they call it the stellar activation cycle. Can you just explain like the stellar activation cycle, like briefly, like how it works? Yes. Yeah. yeah stellar activation cycle. Yeah. Hap happens every 26,000 years. It's when the stargates open um, and when we move an entire dimensional field up an octave. So naturally, um, and again, there's there's so many different. Sounds so wonderful. I just have a weird question. Where's the proof of the 26,000 year cycle and activation and all moving up an octave and the ascension and all this stuff that you predict that's going to happen? Because I have a lot of proof of reincarnation. I have a lot of proof of near death experiences. There's been millions just in the United States. Millions that are still alive. Wow. Isn't that interesting? There's massive proof of deception going on with people that die. That's why I talk about this stuff. That's why I talk about the reincarnation soul trap on my channel. That's why I analyze near-death experience uh, videos on my channel. It's why I analyze pre-birth memories, pre-birth experiences. It's why I look into this stuff, because there's evidence. But when I ask these types for evidence, never get any. It's all speculation. It's all regurgitation, just parroting what others have said for years, if not decades. They were saying this shit in the 60s. The age of Aquarius is, is coming. It's almost here. Everything's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a Garden of Eden. Where is it? Where is it? Look at this realm. Look out there. Look at others. Look at the suffering. That'll show you where you are. Different things that have happened. We had that as our Ascension A plan where we were going to go vertically through the stargates. Um, that was the normal shift from 3D to 5D. Okay, that was Ascension A plan where we would just go right through the halls of Amente. Um, and that was going to happen during the 2000s to 2017 um, until there was a potentiality of those stargates getting hijacked. The halls of Amente, uh, it was way too dangerous for us to go vertically through. But if. Oh, yeah, that just makes perfect sense. I mean, what am I supposed to say to that? What the hell? Bloody hell. Blimey. What a bunch of fucking bollocks. If we were to go vertically through, it would have been like an entire three days of darkness. Uh, everything would have gone like black, purple around you because the particles will, literally would have started fusing together because um, there's different physics of different dimensional realms. So it would have been completely dark for three days. We would have went through that portal passageway and um, when we would have moved up uh, through that portal entry point not even part of the quote new age yet this all seems familiar because so many of them just repeat this shit um unfortunately if you had the dna you could go through it if you didn't i'm just going to switch to another video really quick and then end this
What's up, Familia? Hi. <laughs> Me and Akira, we're back just to bring some good talks for you today, good information. Uh, some of you know Akira from previously when I posted the video of us together, the red pill versus blue pill matrix. Oh, no, uh, no, I have our orange checkered. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> But it's so good to, to talk with you again, sister. I missed you. Yeah, I missed you too. It is so much fun talking to you. And I like your content very much. Oh, you Love the great work you do. I resonate with you so much, sister. I feel like I've known you. Oh, she resonates with her. Isn't that wonderful? Is that a pink pussy hat on her? Is she a feminist or what's that about? Feminism is cancer. For so long, really. Yeah, it feels familiar. I feel the same way. <laughs> it's like I know you. Yes, yes, and I trust you. I really trust the information you bring, and it just it makes sense um, with a lot of things that I put together. It's like we're on that same wavelength of information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everyone uh, speaks a little bit different about it. You're very good in explaining it, and I feel it more. And then I put all videos and clips together. <laughs> I'm always guided to clips and to codes on the other level. <laughs> I love it. You're doing an amazing job too, sister. I know we're both busy. We're both working all the time usually, but it's great when we both have the energy to finally come together and talk. Yeah, yeah, of course. So thank you so much for inviting me again. <laughs> yes, thank you for being here. Um, you know, we can talk about really anything today. You know, I think a big topic of discussion is the AI. So I yeah. think that today would be important for the viewers. Yeah. Yeah, I, I witnessed the same. We have always this up and downs. Yes. So now I'm in contact with more star seeds and they tell me the same. So one day they feel very good, excited. Okay, so star seeds, um, ascension, resonate. You got to get the lingo down. You got to get all the jargon down. Star seeds, light warriors. energized and then one day later oh gosh you feel awful again there's always this up and down thing but as long as we keep trying to align to our heart we're going to be less affected over time i feel like yeah yeah and what i do is i stay focused on what i want so i create the reality i want so it's best I can't stand that shit. I knew something was going to come up, create the reality I want. I'm going to end this video on that bullshit. Um, children don't create abuse. Goodbye, everyone. Take care.